Hi, my name's Tim Forbes, and my girlfriend and I, we've bought unit number 18 at Riverbound, and we're Canadian, but I have a business here in Havasu, so I usually spend six to seven months down here, and then the rest of the time back in Canada. Fantastic. Um, before moving into your unit at Riverbound, uh, can you share with us what it is that you were looking for? Um, was there a single family home or a storage unit or combination of both? What What is it that you had on your dashboard before you stumbled across Riverbound? Um, well, I have a lot of toys, motorcycles and a nice car, and I like to keep them inside. So I was looking for a place either to rent or to buy. But rent, I, I, the rents were pretty high in town and real estate's kind of gotten out of hand too. So to get anything with a decent sized garage was pretty expensive. And unfortunately, I just went through a divorce a couple of years ago. So financially, not quite there yet to buy a brand new home. Right. So Riverbound, it, it kind of fit the bill for what I needed right now. Well, that's, uh, that's fantastic. And how did you uh, hear about Riverbound? Were you just passing by on Highway 95 or? Um... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I was passing by on 95 and I saw um, the buildings there. Didn't really know what it was. So I pulled in off the highway one day, checked it out, and then checked it out on the internet and thought about it for a little while. And it just, yeah, it started to uh, seem attractive. So then I ended up went back out there. Uh, we met another tenant that lives inside. He was just outside of the gate and he was playing in a side-by-side. -side. So he invited us in and we took a look at his unit and, oh, well, we talked to him for two, three hours. Really nice guy. Wow. He explained a lot of what was going on inside and, and his opinions on the park. And yeah. And from there, we met one of the real estate agents and just kind of went from there. No. So, uh, I mean, you 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 stopped in, you kind of looked around, and it was actually a tenant in the park that you hooked up with that uh, kind of educated you on the community, the product, and I guess the process is what it sounds like. Yeah, yeah, that's how it happened. We didn't even go into the store. We didn't talk to a real estate person, nothing. We just kind of pulled in the parking lot, and we were taking a look around. And then there was a, a gentleman, he pulled up, he was playing in the desert on his side by side and he pulled up to the gate and he just, yeah, really nice guy stopped, said, hi, asked us what we were doing. And we just said, oh, we, you know, we're looking around. He's like, well, why don't you come in and look at my unit? So, and he was just a few units inside the gate. So it, yeah, we were there at least two hours, at least two hours. Wow. I mean, uh, when you walked into his unit, um, is that something that you expected to see? I, I don't know what he might have had improvement wise. Maybe he had a mezzanine or, you know, whatever design that he had had. But uh, were you kind of expecting just uh, an empty garage or were you expecting what were you expecting as you walked into his unit? Um, I was just thinking it was going to be a storage building. And then when I saw his, he had the inner liner done. So he had the white siding up the insides. He had cabinets across the back wall. He had a four post car lift and he had a really nice car toy, an old one up on the, the hoist. And then he had a side by side parked underneath and he had a nice sitting area. The floor was all epoxied. It was clean. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was wow. done up. Nice. And he doesn't even live there. He lives in Havasu. He owns the, the unit and then he just occasionally rents out the site to friends. And he just goes out there, he said, almost every day of the week uh, when it's side by side season and he goes out in the desert and plays. So. That's, a, that's that's so cool. So from from that point, I mean, you you're now in the community, you've made some friends and this gentleman, it sound, sounds like to me, has kind of opened up your eyes as to what you can do with your building as far as improvements and kind of working at the starting point with just um a blank canvas, so to speak, and then just kind of letting your imagination fly from there. Yeah, yeah, it's it's amazing what you can do. You can really turn it into a nice. Uh, you can make personalize it and make it your home, and that's what we've started to do with it. That's that's so cool. Um, 
Can you share with the audience, Tim, how the buying process was? I mean, from the time that, you know, you had toured the facility, uh, you know, went into this gentleman's unit. I mean, at the point where you were convinced that this was, you know, what you wanted or what you needed and this, you know, would work out nicely for you from the time that you you made that decision, you called up um, our real estate agents. How was that process from the time that you decided to buy to actually closing and moving in? Uh, within the week, once we decided and we contacted uh, the real estate, within a week, we had our deposit down. Um, at the time, it was on a building uh, that still had to be built. Okay. So we were, in, we were looking at roughly four to six weeks before it was going to be put up. That was the delivery date that we were given. And then what had happened was another building, a different site came available. So I called up my sales guy and asked if we could switch to the one that was built, that oh. was available. We, okay. we changed our minds and wanted to, to go into a different location there. And he contacted uh, the people he deals with that Riverbound Management and you guys switched. It was no issue. And then I don't think it was much more than two more weeks and we we had moved in. Yeah, it was great. It was easy, easy very easy. Uh, that's uh, that's what we strive for. We try and keep things uh, simple and easy as much as possible. Yep. Yep. No, it was painless. Definitely. Well, other than you're know, giving away some money, but well, at least we're getting something for it. <laughs> right. You, you sounds like you're getting uh, a, a fair amount of value, perhaps in your case, what you were looking for in the price point with houses going up, the cost of, you know, traditional storage in town. It, it sounds like that you're pretty happy with the deal that you got. Definitely. Um, I do have some friends in town because I've been coming here for 12 years. Okay. And they have nice homes. They've run out of room for their toys. They're all renting, not all, but a bunch of them are renting storage spaces. But when I talk to them about it, I mean, just buying a storage place for their motor home or their boats is expensive, but they can't live there. They can't work in there. It's literally just storage and that's expensive. So yeah, this is nice. You can live there. And you have all, you have the shop, you have all the room to, to store everything that you want. When I've stayed at normal RV parks with the motorcycles, when you take, take your motorcycles out of the back of the toy hauler, now you're stuck leaving them out in the elements and just don't like doing that. They're the dust, the sun on them. If it rains, which this winter has been a lot of rain. Yeah. They're, everything's inside. They're protected. It's great. Fantastic. Um, but it, that was going to be my next question to you. As a matter of fact, I was just going to ask you uh, straight ahead. What do you think separates Riverbound from other RV parks that you have stayed at before? And it sounds like to me, I mean, you might have just answered the question, just the multi-purpose use, having the storage and the RV park concept under one umbrella. Would you agree? Or is there something else there that really... Um, another aspect that we like about it too is the lot sizes are, are pretty large and you have your neighbor's building where you park your RV, your neighbor's building blocks you from your other neighbor. So you also have a lot of privacy too, which is nice. You can go around and you can visit people if you want, but you also, when you're in, in your lot, you're not looking across at somebody, you know, like 20 feet away from you. And they're looking out their window, looking back at you. So, <laughs> yeah, you just have a lot of privacy. There's nobody directly beside you. So it's great. What we've done at the back of our unit is we put down some travertine, about 300 square feet of travertine. And we we have a retaining wall to the desert because it's, it's desert land behind us. We're on the outside of the park. And because we have that retaining wall there, we've done the travertine and we just have a really nice outdoor sitting area right there. So it, it's, yeah, we enjoy being outside. We don't want to sit inside and it's, it's, it's still private. It's back from the road. I don't have a neighbor right beside me because his building, he lives on the other side of his building in his RV port. So 
Okay, gotcha. So it sounds like you've created a, a little um little patio area to uh, have a nice cup of coffee in the morning when the sun's going up and uh you know uh, maybe a, a soda pop or a cocktail as the sun's going down. Oh yeah. Yeah, and that's what we're doing quite often. And even I had some visitors, my mom and my aunt. We had the big patio area, the dinner table, an outdoor propane heater, and we would have dinner there the majority of the week, and they were here for three weeks. So oh, wow. Worked out well. And then I was told to rent another site um, on our row. They rented number eight, and we rented a motorhome for them, so they stayed right at the park with us. It was great. Good fit. Yeah, good fit. Didn't have them right beside me, which is fine. So you still have your privacy. They have their privacy. They're not feeling like they're you're you're being overwhelmed by having company there full time, but they're close enough. And yeah, it was great. Yeah, they so, I mean, some of those RV parks they're so sandwiched in together that you're just elbow to elbow. And yeah, uh, yeah no that, room. that was one thing we really wanted to emphasize on as we were coming up with the concept and designing it is. Let's, you know, create enough space to where, you know, people, they don't feel like somebody's breathing down their neck. You know, they can uh, enjoy themselves and have that privacy factor, which I think is worth its weight in gold. It is. And I, I mean, rarely when we sit out in the evenings as the sun's setting, you don't hear anybody. It's very quiet in the park. You just hear the security uh, gentleman go by in his golf cart every once in a while. But other than that, he's just doing his rounds. The odd people walking by, but at night, most people, yeah, it's very quiet, very peaceful. That's good. We we need uh, more of that, right? Oh, yeah. It's nice. So uh, outside of the travertine that you were talking about, um, is there anything on the inside of the building that you've done uh, that might stand out to the audience to kind of give them, you know, a runway if they're thinking about buying a unit at Riverbound? Like, oh, you know, I didn't think that I could do that. Is there anything interior wise that uh that you've had a chance to play around with yeah right now i'm working on building a mezzanine in the back nice and it's it's going to be a living room upstairs with the tv in the back wall we've uh installed well we have it uh, framed in for a patio door and that's upstairs and then we put in a window up there as well so that's going to be an office for my girlfriend because she teaches online okay. and the patio door, we already have pre-approval because we're on the outside of the park. We're going to build a patio out there. So the patio door will go out onto a deck. Like a, slide, like a sliding glass door. Are you doing a French door or what are you thinking? Sliding glass door upstairs. And then there's a balcony that we'll be building so that you walk out the patio door onto a balcony. That's, about 10 feet above ground level. And then we're facing east, we're facing the mountains. That's awesome. And a French door we've installed down on the side of the building. So when we walk out of the toy hauler, we can literally walk right into the side and we've put our, uh, like a stackable washer dryer right inside the door. Fantastic. Ne next time I'm out there, if you're there, I got to swing by and check this out. It sounds amazing. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, it's going to look good. And we've also drywalled the bottom eight feet right to the front. So, and then eventually I'm going to do the steel liner on the top eight feet. Wow. In the end. Yeah, finish it off. So it's coming good. But you put a lot of thought and a lot of hard work into it, it sounds like. Still working on it. Yep. Yeah. But uh, coming for, good. For uh, anybody in the audience that would be on the fence, you know, they've toured the property, they just haven't pulled the trigger. Um, they're really thinking about it, whether it be in phase one or phase two. Um, is there, you know, as an owner yourself, um, is there any advice or something that you would share with the folks about buying a unit at Riverbound if they're, you know, like I said, on the fence, they're just not quite there yet? What What piece of advice would you give them or what would you tell them directly to kind of push them over the edge and say, hey, you know what? the water's warm. Uh, this is a good thing to do. Yeah. I think from an investment, it's a really good thing to do. Uh, you have RV pads, the newer buildings, phase two, a lot of them have R RV pads, both sides. So if you want, you for one, you buy the property, 
you have your building, you have your storage, which a lot of people in Havasu are just looking for storage. But you, if you have family in, you can put them somewhere. You don't have to have them live with you. You can rent out a site if you want to help just cover the costs of, you know, purchasing the building and having that as an investment. Um, well, one thing that surprised me when we first started looking there, a lot of the real estate team that you have there, they've also bought in there for investments, mm -hmm. which that right there tells you they think it's a good investment too. They're in the real estate market. So, I mean, if they're selling them, they believe in it, obviously, because they bought into it. Yeah. And then some of them are using it for their own. The real estate professionals, they've got their finger on the pulse of the market and they monitor it. So if they right. bought into it, I mean, you would think that they've definitely crossed their T's and dotted their I's before making a decision, right? Exactly. So that was just something that uh, was a little more of a confidence booster on, yes, it's a good idea. Fantastic. Um, on a scale one to 10, Tim, how would you rate the staff and the hospitality factor at Riverbound? I know that you just commented on having the security. Uh, they're there day and night. Uh, they're there all hours around the clock. We're big on security. Um, yeah. Aside from that, um, how would you rate the staff overall? I'm not necessarily looking for a 10, but I'm looking for a, you know an, an honest, um, you know, straight from the hip, um, because we do work hard with our staff and we're big on hospitality, but the time that you've been there, um, how would you rate them? They're great. Now I have absolutely no complaints. They've been very accommodating anything that I need. Um, well, actually I'm at work through the week, so I don't go into the store as often as my girlfriend, but I mean, it, they're so friendly in there. It's become kind of the local hangout where it, some of the, the the building owners stop in there just to hang out and say hi. They'll have lunch, whatever. And yeah, it's quite the little social gathering place. So no, they've been great. I would I would rate them a 10. Everybody's been great. The security guys are very friendly. You get to know them. You're waving. They keep an eye on what's going on. Um, the people in the store, great when you need something. If you need your propane filled, whatever, they'll get right on it. So yeah no complaints awesome we'll uh we'll, we'll take a 10 when when we get them yeah um fantastic uh tim we really appreciate it what unit number are you in again unit number 18 unit number 18 okay so that yeah. is on the uh uh the, the east side of the park uh so now I, I know exactly where you're at you uh you've got a premium view that's that's great that's going to be awesome when you put in that that uh that deck uh with the mezzanine and the sliding glass door um, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't think anybody in the park has done that. Not that I know of, um, no, either. So that, that's really going to be fantastic. Awesome vision, Tim. Um, yeah. any other comments that you'd like to make about your unit or the park or just riverbound and the location, uh, just, uh, kind of freestyle, anything that you want to throw out there before we close this up? Um, no, I, I, other than I have absolutely no regrets. I'm happy. I don't even... I don't even think about purchasing a house here. It's when I'm not here, I, I can trust that I have security. My stuff's in my building with a gated community um, where if I had a house in town, I don't have that same, you'd have to have an alarm system, this, that. Here, you've got everybody looking after your stuff, kind of. You get to know your neighbors. Everybody's watching out for each other. It's a good little community. So, no, we love it there. So it's yeah. important. I mean, it sounds like this has kind of worked out to be, um, you know, somewhat of an al an alternative housing option, you know, for you in your situation. Oh, it's perfect. I'm not here year round. Even if I was, I'd be fine year round. Although it gets a little hot here. That part's kind of hard to take in an RV, but um, yeah, the AC is going to be working hard. But no, I could live in that year round. No problem. For me, a shop is important. We're making the end very comfortable, like the back end of it, but I still have lots of room for all my stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And we're going to have the view. We'll have the balcony out the back. It's going to be amazing. And that's one thing. I love the desert. I love the mountains. Uh, I grew up in Ontario, Canada. So that's rolling green hills, no mountains. Right. So this is different. It's beautiful. Yeah. Sounds, uh, sounds like it's the, the perfect fit for you, Tim. Um, yeah. 
Well, uh, again, thank you so much for taking the time to share, uh, you know, your comments and your thoughts on uh, Riverbound Custom Storage and RV Park. Uh, we're delighted to have you in the community. And if there's anything that we can ever do for you, uh, please be sure to reach out to us uh, and let us know what we can do to make your stay and your experience at Riverbound that much more enjoyable. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. You got it. hundred percent, buddy. Thank you again for taking the time. Uh, Tim Forbes in unit number 18. Hope you have a great day and thank you everybody for joining. Thanks. You too. Have a good one. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate it, man.